Hi, this is Jeff, your ProtoPie expert. This is the first in a series of short videos where we answer your ProtoPie questions. Today's question comes from Jeremy. Jeremy asks, I'm trying to have one sound file play for multiple buttons. However, the sound seems to play for only one button and will not play when interacting with the others. This is a common problem when you're working with sound files and video files in ProtoPie. The way it works when you play a sound file or a video file, it starts from the beginning, plays through to the end, and then it stays there. And then when you try to play it again, it's already at the end and there's nothing to play. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. See here in my Pi, I've got three buttons. They all have tap triggers associated with them. And when I tap them, they all try to play the same sound file. That's this guy right here in the middle. You're gonna see the problem when I preview this. When I tap any of these buttons, let's tap the second one, I get sound the first time, but then when I try to tap any of the other buttons, I get no sound. And even if I try to tap the second button again. Now the solution here is to reset the sound file back to its start every time I try to play it. There's two ways you can do that. The first way is to use the reset response. And as you might suggest, the name means it will reset whatever you use it on. In this case, I'm gonna use it on the sound file. One small tweak I'm gonna do here though, is you're gonna see over the timeline, it wants to animate over 0.2 seconds. This is useful if you're resetting another object and it's changed its position, its size, its color. And when you reset it, you can have it animate back to its original state. In our case, I wanna have it happen immediately. So I'm gonna set this to zero. And now when I preview this, I can tap this first button over and over again, and I continue to get sound every single time. Now the second way you can solve this is to use the playback response. We've already used playback in here to play the sound, but you have other options. In the second tap trigger, I'm going to add a playback response, and I wanna have it happen on the sound file here. I have three options. I have play, I have pause, and I have seek. We're gonna choose this third option called seek. And this is where you can tell ProtoPy to seek to a specific point in the, in the sound file itself. In this case, I wanna to go to zero seconds or the start of the sound file. Now when I preview this and I tap this second button, the sound plays over and over again. Now just to finish this off, I'm gonna copy one of these responses and put it into my third trigger. So now all three buttons can play the sound over and over again. It doesn't matter which one I tap. There you go, easy as pie. If you've run into a snag with one of your pies and you'd like to ask us for help, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.